Hello everyone, in this video we'll play with a laser. Enjoy! NEGEDK3000 is a small laser engraver. Its external dimensions fit within the work area of ANET A8. It's made of acrylic, which assembled into rectangular shapes create a very stable construction. Both X and Y axes are powered by motors commonly used in CD DVD drives. The presented model of the engraver is powered by 25 watt laser. The available work area is 490 by 490 pixels, which allows for engraving 35 by 35 mm elements. The control unit contains a dedicated circuit, four double MOSFETs controlling the motors, and a single MOSFET controlling the laser. The entire engraver is powered by two USB cables. One, mini USB, powers the laser and transmits data, and the second one, USB A type, powers the motors. The laser used in this engraver is perfect for engraving in wood. It can also cut paper and thin foil, as long as it's not transparent. It's not strong enough, however, to work with any other harder materials, such as steel, aluminium or any other metals. The engraver has just one physical button. It's used to start the engraving process once the model has been uploaded using the software provided. The software provided with the machine is very easy to use. It supports generating text and conversion of graphics for use with the engraver. All you have to do to start is drag and drop an image onto the software's window. Prompt with choice of two images will appear. Simply pick the one that seems to be interpreted better by the software. Next, set the laser power depending on the material. The stronger the laser, the deeper the engrave will be. However, you will lose those fine details in the trade. Once all is set, we can send the project to the machine. Before we commence the engraving process, we need to ensure that the material is secured and the laser is focused. Once all checks are complete, put your safety goggles on, as it's time to begin the engraving. Start the process by pressing the only button or via the software. The obvious disadvantage of this model is its size. Whilst it's compact and fits on any desk, the work area is on the smaller scale. Another downside is the choice of motors. The ones used in this model are loud. Some of the noise can be reduced by adding feet made of soft material, such as rubber. On the other hand, as previously mentioned, the build quality feels really good. The software is very intuitive and easy to use. This machine comes in a few variants where the difference is the laser power. The lowest model is 500 milliwatt laser and the most powerful is 3000 milliwatts. There is also a model that is battery powered which allows for the engraver to operate in very mobile conditions. You can get one on AliExpress for 60 to 100 dollars. This machine is fun to play with and a very good choice as an entry level device. You can learn a lot about engraving. That's it for today, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.